Our current project is on the Cheapside Hoard, um, which is currently at the Museum of London. It's a hoard that was discovered in 1911, and it's a Jacobean and Elizabethan hoard, so it's sort of an unintended time capsule of 400 years ago, and it's a fascinating insight into the goldsmith's craft and the technology that they were using at the time. We don't have um, tools of that age, we don't have sort of workshop manuals to tell us how they were producing these pieces. So it's a sort of forensic detective work in terms of a, a craftsmanship analysis, learning how to read these objects with our understanding as makers, because as makers you look at the objects in quite a different way. So we're wanting to understand what the thinking was behind the, these, how they sequenced their production processes, what kind of manufacturing techniques were they using, are the techniques we've lost, are the techniques that we could be using again 400 years later. It's all those sort of unknowns that we're trying to reveal and discover through the work that we're doing. The Museum of London is putting on an exhibition in October of this year and museums have this really difficult balancing act. They need to protect and conserve their collections but they also need to have engaging exhibitions that are educational and that the knowledge that we find in our research is disseminated through those exhibitions. So they've got this kind of conflict. They want to protect it and keep it back but they also need to make it available. What we're hoping to do is to allow a museum visitor to engage with the objects in a different manner than they would be used to. So we might be able to produce from our CAD files, from our analysis, small prototypes, possibly sintered prototypes that we can have as handling exhibitions. The Cheapside Hoard is predominantly jewellery, so for an object to be handled by a person, it has a relationship with the body. That's exactly what it was intended to do. So dovetailing our research with digital technologies is allowing us to bridge that gap and hopefully enabling those museum visitors to get a more memorable learning experience and museum visit.